the process of digestion is started in the mouth. Chewing breaks the food up, giving more surface area for the enzymes to work on. Amylase, the first enzyme used in the digestive system, is released in the saliva. Amylase is a form of carbohydrate and starts a process of breaking carbohydrate molecules down into simple sugars. After the mouth, the food is swallowed and travels to the stomach via the oesophagus. The walls of the oesophagus contract and expand to push the food through. This process is called peristalsis, and it is strong enough to allow you to swallow when upside down. Now in the stomach, the food is dumped into a mixture of protease and hydrochloric acid. The protease in the stomach requires an, an acidic environment to function. This is where the hydrochloric acid comes in. Also, the acid has another role in killing off any germs and bacteria in the food. Whilst in the stomach, strong muscles in the stomach walls pummel the food. After the stomach, the food passes into the small intestine, but before that, the liver and pancreas release chemicals into the process. The liver releases bile through the gallbladder, which acts to neutralise the stomach acids in the small intestine. This allows the enzymes released from the pancreas to function. The pancreas releases variations of all three enzymes, carbohydrates, protease and lipase. When in the small intestine, the food is broken down by all the enzymes released by the pancreas and the small intestine itself. The small intestine also absorbs the nutrients released from the food. Due to this, that food is broken down as well as absorbed in the small intestine. The small intestine is very long, measuring 6 to 7 metres in an average human. To help with the absorption of food, the inside of the small intestine is covered in small finger-like growths known as villi. These increase the surface area of the small intestine, which in turn increases the absorption area. This makes the process far more efficient. Next, the food passes through the large intestine. Here, water is absorbed into the bloodstream and the faeces are formed. Lastly, the faeces pass through the rectum and the anus. Yeah, you know.